Since the beginning of June last year, there has been a persistent radiation threat in the Sevolosky district of the Leningrad region that could affect St. Petersburg as well. The authorities of the Leningrad region put the territory around the RSC applied chemistry on high alert because of potential radiation hazards. Due to privatization of the scientific center, the dangerous territory suddenly turned out to be ownerless. The radiation background in some places exceeds the permissible level by 200 to 300 times. And this is happening in the second largest city in Russia. Before you watch this video, I'm going to ask you to support my channel with a thumbs up. It won't cost you anything, but it means a lot to me and my channel. Thank you. In Kozmolovsky urban settlement, where the radiation complex of FGUPRSC applied chemistry was located, the main power cable, which provides radiation extraction, failed. The equipment switched to a spare emergency cable, but no one knows how long it will last. Let us look at what was going on at the plant and what is the threat of it all now. For several weeks now officials have been convincing the public that there is no threat to the population in the Leningrad region, the measures taken are preventive and no excess of radiation background is observed. However, according to various sources, at closed meetings the big bosses directly talk about the ecological disaster and the danger of radiation. The area where the emergency situation could arise is a radiation complex formerly operated by the Federal State Unitary Enterprise RSC Applied Chemistry. The enterprise produced rocket fuel and all kinds of chemical liquids. The largest chemical organization in Russia had been in operation for more than a hundred years, and for many decades it had stored nuclear waste from its production on its territory in that very radio complex. Radiation waste was supposed to be removed, mothballed and placed in a storage facility. But in December 2020, FSUE was reorganized, it became a joint stock company, i.e. de jure, a new organization. This resulted in the loss of the license to work with radioactive substances because the earlier license was registered in the name of the old legal entity and had nothing to do with the new one. This means that the new organization also no longer has permission to dispose of the nuclear waste that remained on the territory of the complex. At the same time, the issue of disposal of hazardous substances that by that time had already contaminated the soil on the territory of the radioactive chemical complex became an urgent one. Among other things, the equipment remaining at the plant had been in use since 1961 and had already served its time, it was heavily contaminated with radiation and required either cleaning or disposal. At the time of the transfer to the joint stock company Applied Chemistry expected to get a license, but in January this year Rostek Nadzer sent a refusal, explaining it by the incomplete package of documents. A long round of correspondence with the agency began. It turned out that during the privatization the Transfer Act was missing just a couple of words, radioactive substances. And since they are not mentioned, they were not transferred. But it took six months to find this inaccuracy, when the situation was already out of control. Who is the last man standing? Having failed to achieve a constructive conversation with Rostek Nadzer, the management of RSE Applied Chemistry JSC informed its founder, Rostek State Corporation, that unless emergency measures are taken, an environmental disaster cannot be avoided. At the moment, the water contamination at one of the buildings of the complex exceeds the level of intervention more than 70 times and there is a real threat of uncontrolled spread of radiation through the groundwater to the Creek Kameny, further to the Neva River and the Gulf of Finland. If the measures are not taken, the consequences of uncontrolled spread of radiation can lead to an environmental catastrophe. In the same letter Applied Chemistry stated that if no safety measures are taken, the employees of the research center will have to leave the territory of the enterprise and leave the dangerous radio complex unattended on June 1, 2021. Already two days after this letter, a closed meeting was assembled at the Department of the Defense Industry Complex of the Government of the Russian Federation, which was attended by all interested government agencies and state corporations. The decision is made to find a new organization that will be able to maintain this complex and dispose of the nuclear waste. The responsibility was placed on Rostec State Corporation as the founder, on the Federal Property Management Agency, and on the executive authorities of the Leningrad region and the Prosecutor General's office was instructed to inspect the facility. However, the day of the report has passed, but the problem is still not resolved, the successor has not been found, 
and the license has not existed. Sevalosk prosecutor's office tried to get involved. A lawsuit was filed against RSE Applied Chemistry JSC with a request to oblige the company to obtain a license and to put things in order in the complex, and most importantly, in the very dangerous building number 300. According to the prosecutor, this building with radioactive substances, for which the new company now has no license, is in the company's responsible custody. And in accordance with the federal law on protection of competition, the company remains in possession of the building and is responsible for it and for all its consequences. And all because they did not appoint a new operator at the time of privatization. The court found the claim incorrectly drafted and dismissed it. But if the first option of obtaining a license is now considered impossible for applied chemistry because, according to the land code, after the reorganization the seized plots went into state ownership and were not transferred back, which means that one license is not enough here, why doesn't anyone want to become the legal successor and save the situation? According to minimum estimates, about 7 billion rubles are needed to reclaim and restore the land. And that's not counting the recycling and repair or cleaning of old equipment. The sums are enormous, and no one is in a hurry to undertake such expenses. How strong is the phonation? On June 1, 2021 the employees of the RSE Applied Chemistry left the territory of the radioactive complex as they promised, saying that it remains uncontrolled, there is a risk of radioactive contamination of the neighboring areas and the northern districts of St. Petersburg, an environmental disaster is possible. According to other documents available to the editorial board, the radiation background in some places exceeds the permissible level by 200 to 300 times. On June 25, the main power supply cable that supplied power to the nuclear waste storage and radiation protection equipment failed. When the main power supply channel failed, it automatically switched to a spare emergency cable, but no one can even guess how long it will last. Sources claim that if the emergency cable fails and the complex is left without power supply, the radiation will end up in the Neva River in 12 hours. I thank you for watching. Your support is very important to me. Your comments and thumbs up motivate me to release new videos on interesting topics. Subscribe and turn on notifications. See you in the new videos.